Good morning. Today's shopping adventure, we are at Aldi. We're going to go in, check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. And since we come into Aldi here, we do notice that they have a lot of their crackers back in. Peanut butter crackers have gone down to 89 cents, down from $1.09. Got a lot of comments on those. I might have spoke a little too soon here. The favorite six cracker assortment that some people were asking about looks like our Aldi is completely wiped out also. They do have some of the garden vegetable crackers, although these are up from $1.99 to $2.09. And we got the pita crackers that some people have asked about. It does look like they are out of a lot of stuff. Now today is Thursday, June 2nd. So they should have gotten their shipment yesterday. I don't know, something pretty low. They do have more of the Benton's Oreo cookies back in, down to $1.79 now. Those were $1.99. So we used to get a lot of comments on the uh, Snickerdoodle and Chocolate Chip Keto cookies here. First time I've seen them in here in a long time. $3.09 for a three ounce pack. This is a little pricey, but um, this you know, any Keto is gonna be a little more expensive than other things. Does look like they are out of the Benton's Fudge Marshmallow Cookies that we got some comments on. They did go up in price. These were $1.95. Um, and they don't have the fig bars either. Those are still $1.95. But we've been getting a lot of comments that the fig bars have kind of been going out the door at Aldi. So just wanted to point that out. We're not getting them in either. Uh, and a lot of people were comparing these to the Girl Scout version. Personally, I actually like these better, and they're still $1.35, which is up from $1.29 a couple months ago. They are good. We've been getting some comments on the Shoker uh, candy here that it had gone up in price. Some people were saying that these had gone up to $2.65. Not here, still $2.49. And they still have the Moser Roth bars for $1.99, which we get a lot of comments on. Um, we tried these Knoppers. They're actually pretty good, uh, and they're still the same price. $1.99 for five of them. A little pricey, but they are good. Good to see they got their regular graham crackers back in. Still the same price, $1.59. These were gone for the longest time. The cinnamon ones did go up. These were $1.59 also, now $1.75. These were the only ones they had for the longest time. Got a lot of good comments on these. Uh, still never tried them. Um, not a huge fan of graham crackers. We'll get them every now and then. But uh, we get a lot of comments on them, so I just wanted to point out they do have them back in. Does look like the Benton's Animal Crackers did go up. These were $2.45, now $2.75. Got a lot of comments. Um, it's good to see they got them back in. Got a lot of good comments on these. They did go up in price, though. They do have a lot of their peanuts back in. This is good to see. We saw where they were pretty much wiped out the last time we were here. Still the same price, too. Uh, we've been hearing that a lot of products have been going up at Aldi. We saw that there was a huge price increase on stuff uh the last time we were here we saw that for ourselves peanuts are still the same though i mean they were a dollar 75 a couple months ago and there were a couple price increases it went up to a dollar 88 and now a dollar 95 but it's it's been a dollar 95 for a while uh they do have the honey roasted peanuts in which we got comments on we tried these they're actually pretty good so we got this comment from somebody else it looks like the millville fruit and grain bars are completely wiped out um none absolutely none this is crazy usually this is completely stocked they do have some other things down here that are they're out of uh some of the like toaster tarts i guess like pop tarts out of that stuff very low on the millville granola bars too man this is crazy they're out of a lot of stuff and my favorite trail mix bars that ain't good some people were asking about the instant oats and quick oats. You know, we've tried these. They're actually really good. Way cheaper than Kroger or Meyer. Two fifty-five for a forty-two ounce thing of them here. They were two forty-five. They went up to two fifty-five, but still way cheaper than Kroger or Meyer. I'll tell you what. When you look at some of the prices of the cereal that's going up at Kroger and some of the other grocery stores, this stuff looks starts to look really good. Uh, somebody was commenting on the rice. Well, it was the corn squares. Of the Millville brand, dollar eighty nine. Um, you know, and this this original balance here, this looks just like Life cereal, so I assume it's pretty much like a dollar ninety five a box. Way better than three forty nine or three ninety nine for Life. They still don't have my raisin brand now. Crazy low on bread too. Uh, it was like this the last time we were here. Um, prices are still the same. They are limiting 
people to two items on some things, I guess, that are popular buys. But yeah, all the breads and stuff, very low. I came here on a Thursday thinking it would be fully stocked. That's what a lot of people were telling me to do. But I don't know if they're just not getting a lot in or what's going on. Uh, good to see the bagels are still $1.55. They were $1.49 a while ago, but everything's going up a little bit. Uh, these blueberry bagels are awesome. And uh, we did try the cream cheese. People were telling us to try the cream cheese. Cream cheese is very good. Uh, just as good as Philadelphia, if you ask me. We do have some different peanut butter options here. As you can see, though, they have removed all of their Jeff peanut butter as well. Got a lot of good comments on the peanut delight. They do continuously go up, though. This was $2.95 for the big thing we saw last time. $3.39 now. $3.39. That's a pretty big price increase. I did notice that the specially selected raw honey did go up from $5.99 to $6.99. This is good honey, though. We've been seeing another shortage of Gatorade lately, which is pretty uncommon for the summer months. Uh, we've been seeing less and less in the stores. We saw a bunch at Kroger, but not much at Meyer or Walmart. Walmart was practically wiped out of them. They still have their 8-packs of the 20 ounces for $5.78, though. We've seen they've gone up to $5.99 at Kroger. Probably going to be going up again. They have none of the, well, they don't even have a, a uh, sticker for the single 28 ounces anymore. This is going to be the pure aqua sparkling flavored water. It does look like their coffee went up. I know the Beaumont 100% Colombian was $6.49, which was up from $5.95. And the classic roast here was $5.99 up to $6.49. The Cafe Bastillo, same price. Uh, we get a lot of comments on the brick of Bastillo that they sell here at Aldi. It's a little cheaper. It is a little cheaper. Not much. I think it's $3.99 at Kroger. We do see that the instant coffees of the Beaumont did go up from $2.95 to $3.19, but they do have the uh, decaf included. They haven't had the decaf in a while. And they still have the Nest Cafe for $5.78, same price. We always get a lot of good comments on their Barissimo brand, too. Uh, and they do have the Keurig pods here, some of them. Uh, relatively cheap, too. You get 12 uh, for $3.79, um, somebody was talking about the decaf that they've been getting when they weren't able to find any decaf, so that's good to know. Also, they do have the donut store blend, and they have all the ground coffee, uh, which is a little more because you get a little more out of it. Um, these are up from $3.95 to $4.19, but it's been a while since we've checked. Somebody was talking about the midnight blend here. Might have to try that sometime. $4.49, so a little more expensive, but it's a dark roast, so... They do have some of the organic options here too. The Simply Nature Fair Trade Organic Ground Coffee. So I just noticed uh, the price went down on the sugar. It was $2.37. Now it's $2.29. I was wondering about that because a lot of <laughs> they were the most expensive for the four pounds of sugar there for the longest time. $1.56 for the flour. Uh, we've heard that some flour is more expensive in some stores across the country. Some somebody commented saying it was still 98 cents at their Aldi. I forget who that was, but yeah, we haven't seen it 98 cents in months. Look at all this pet food too. This is good to see. That's the most pet food. Aldi doesn't usually carry much pet food. But they do have a lot more in um, than I've seen here probably ever. So it's good to see. Uh, they do have the heart-to-tail uh, cans for 40 cents. They have the smaller ones that people compare to the Fancy Feast, which a lot of cats like apparently. 55 cents, that is up from 45 cents. And these are up. These were 38 cents, so just a two-cent raise. So we've been getting comments that people have had trouble finding evaporated milk. They do have the Nestle Carnation Evaporated Milk, the 12 ounces for $1.10. And they have the Baker's Corner Sweetened Condensed Milk, which we've gotten a lot of comments on for $1.44 a can. So that's a pretty good deal, too. We've been seeing those. We've been seeing condensed milk for over $2 a can. Now here's something you don't see every day. They have their vegetable oil for $2.95 and their canola oil for $2.88. Usually canola oil is more expensive than the vegetable, but hey, I'll take it. Um, yeah, and way cheaper than it's been in any grocery stores for any store brand that I've seen. So we always get some comments on different sugars. They do have the Simply Nature Light Brown Sugar for $2.95. Uh, for this bag of it, it feels like a pretty heavy bag. 24 to 32 ounces. 
Uh, and they have the regular cane sugar. They also have the sweet additions. This is like Splenda, 100 packets for $1.99. Or they have the Splenda packets for $4.38. So if it's the same thing, might as well get this one. Uh, they do have the Stevia too, $3.39 for that. And they have the big bags of Stevia and the sweet additions. Uh, that is, it's the same ingredients as Splenda. Um, but yeah, they've got some other ones too. It's good to see. They, they haven't had a lot of this stuff in a while. Aldi produce here. Some of the Aldi savers they have. They do have their strawberries for $1.99 a pound. Uh, strawberries had a recall not that long ago, so that could be why they're pretty low on them. Uh, they do have their... Um, these are pretty small, but they do have their pineapples, $1.89. There were some really big ones at Kroger yesterday for $2.49, the Chiquita ones. They do have grapes, green grapes, for $1.49 a pound. Now, Kroger's has a sale going on, $0.99 cents a pound with, for the black, the red, and the green grapes, so keep that in mind. They do have the large seedless watermelons for $5.99. They are pretty low, but they've been pretty much $5.99 everywhere, so comparable to Kroger. Kroger's has them for $5.99 too. Uh, their bananas did go up in price finally. We've been hearing about this. Uh, these were $0.29 cents a pound forever. Now they're $0.41 cents a pound. They do have their red cherries for $5.59 a pound. Now we've been seeing it. It's a, on sale this week at Kroger for $4.99 a pound and Meyer for $4.99 a pound. So we've been hearing that a lot of places haven't been getting broccoli but they've been getting broccoli crowns. $1.79 a pound for these. I gotta say, these do look really good. $3.89 for four ears of corn. Yeah, I know they do the extra work or whatever, but man, that's almost a dollar an ear. That's crazy. Uh, here's some mini cucumbers. Somebody said they got these the other day. Um, I don't know if there was an issue with them, but $2.49 looks like about four, five, six. Six little mini cucumbers. We are starting to see some massive price increases here at Aldi when it comes to produce. These were 98 cents a piece. 98 cents for these little garden salads here. $1.29 now. Uh, the shredded lettuce was $1.49, now $1.79. Um, the spinach is the same price. That was $1.49. It was $1.39 a while back, but it's been $1.49 for a while. Uh, they do have some of the carrots there, 95 cents a bag. I mean, carrots have been on sale pretty much everywhere, though, so... We do have to kind of compare to some of the other stores nowadays because all these prices have been going up. They do have some organic options here. I gotta say, these strawberries look fantastic. Um, but yeah, like, so here we have organic raspberries for $3.79. Now the regular raspberries at Meyer were $3.49, which, I don't know, I mean, these don't look any different if you ask me, but they do have the blackberries for $2.99. They have the regular blackberries on sale at Meyer this week for $0.99 cents for the same six-ounce container. So, something to keep in mind. Also, they have the organic bananas for $0.61 cents a pound. Now, uh, these have been $0.69 cents a pound at Kroger and Meyer, so a little bit cheaper. I don't know if $0.09 cents is worth going to another store, but as we can see here, Apples have gone up here too for the three pound. Well, I don't know three pound of the gala gala. I always say gala. I know some people say gala. Uh, Four ninety nine for a three pound bag. That's actually not bad for organic. Apples have kind of gone through the roof lately. Uh, three pound bag of the pink lady apples three sixty nine. We saw at Meyer that they're all four seventy nine now. Four seventy nine for gala pink lady, Granny Smith, um, and a couple other ones. The Honeycrisp apples here, two pounds for $4.49. Actually, really isn't too bad because we've been seeing they're at Kroger right now, three pounds for $7.49, which is crazy. Uh, and they have the regular Gala apples here, uh, three pound bag for $3.69, which is what the deal was at Meyer and Kroger a few weeks ago, but they just keep going up. Uh, three pound bag of mandarins for $4.29 is actually a good deal these days. Uh, we've been seeing it for $5.99. We've been seeing the five-pound bags go for $8. At Sam's Club, it was $8.37 for a five-pound bag. Okay, so they do have kiwi fruit here. Two pounds for $4.39. That's not really a deal. I mean, you know, maybe a little cheaper than Kroger. I think Kroger's had them for $5.99, but they've been on sale. Some of these don't look all that great, though. Make sure you always check. Always check, you know, before you buy them. 
we've gotten a couple comments on mangoes, so I thought I would point this out that they are 65 cents here. They've been pretty much a dollar everywhere else, dollar a piece, so a little better deal here. One thing we've been seeing kind of skyrocket lately is mushrooms. They are $2.29 now at Kroger for an 8-ounce pack of mushrooms, $1.39 here, and if you want the sliced, I usually just slice it myself, $1.89. These are $2.49 at Kroger, so much better savings here at Aldi on mushrooms. So their cheese continues to go up. You know, I'm not really too surprised. This was $2.95 a while back. It did go up to two or $3.19 a few weeks ago, but I don't know. I mean, these are bigger packs, though. These are 12 ounces compared to 8 ounces of what this would be in like Meyer or Kroger. So you get a few more ounces for $3.19. But we see a lot of sales on these at the grocery stores. So it's like, I don't know. I just feel like that is really high for an Aldi price. One of these weird price increases where they only go up four cents. These were $1.75 a pack. These are only eight ounces for $1.79. Um, still cheaper than what you'll find at most grocery stores for that amount of ounces. But you know, I don't know. I feel like these should be like $1.50. We continue to see a lot of their deli meats and stuff being out of stock. We saw this the last time we were here. Uh, they have some of the lunch meat. Not much, though. Just the ham. I mean, that's it. They're out of the uh, turkey, the chicken. All these down here. The honey turkey. Black Forest ham. That's the one we liked. And, you know, 16, it is a pound of it did get some comments on the Simply Nature Organic Uncured Black Forest Ham. Some of these products here, the deli meats. $4.49, but it is organic. Boy, you don't really get much, though. Look at that. That's like two, maybe three sandwiches. Um, but we got a lot of good comments on it, so I just want to point it out. They do have their Bakehouse biscuits back in. They moved them. They moved them up top here. $1.49 now, though. These were $0.98. Cents. 98 cents just a couple months ago they've been up for a while but i just wanted to point this out that they've been getting them back in uh they got the pillsbury for two dollars so even the pillsbury is cheaper than most places walmart is two dollars for the pillsbury too um and i think theirs their brand the great value brand is a dollar 59 a can so a little cheaper but we do like the bakehouse brand but yeah it's an extra 50 cents now now we see the pork chops finally went up in price. I will say though, these are some of the best pork chops. I don't know where they get them. Uh, premium pork from Aldi. That's all it says. Bone in loin assorted pork chops. But these are really good. They are up in price though. These went up from $249 to $289. I mean, still cheaper than some of the grocery stores, but you know, we do have to kind of compare now. They got the Tyson pork ribs here for $4.49. We saw those the other day at Kroger. It's been a been a couple weeks, but they were $3.99. Some of this chicken here. Good to see they got chicken back in. Limit two. So you can only get two. I don't know. Can I get two chicken legs, two tenderloins? They're not very specific. I mean, I don't know if they would turn you away on it, but we do see that it's gone up to $1.49 a pound. It's been $0.98 cents a pound. Jeez. I'll tell you. That's crazy. These tenderloins are $4.79 a pound. That is ridiculous. That's crazy. They are out of a lot. Um, I don't see... That's all they got. Legs. Oh, well, here's some... Uh, here's some thighs. Can't find any breast. No breast. Just uh, chicken thighs. Thighs are $3.49 a pound. I mean, they have prices here for split chicken breast, but don't see any. Um, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Their hamburger is a lot lower, too, but I will say that they did lower the price. Uh, the 73% lean is now back down to $2.99 a pound. Uh, this was up to $3.19. The 80% was up to $4.19, back down to $3.99 a pound. So, yeah, they did lower the price on them some. So that's good. Good to see something going in the right direction. 90% lean ground sirloin for $509. I can get 88% lean at Sam's Club for $418 a pound. I will give it to Aldi for one thing though. They have kept this stew meat to at $549 for months and months and months. We've seen stew meat go through the roof, $799 being the highest at a lot of places. $549 a pound. That's the cheapest anywhere. We 
notice the Appleton Farms went up in price. Their bacon was $3.99, now it's up to $4.19. Um, they do have the Never Any Uncured Hickory Bacon, which we get a lot of comments on. That is only 12 ounces for $5.75. They do have their Irish Butter back in, $3.45 for an 8 ounce pack of it here. They've got some of the spreadable butter. One thing I wanted to show is that they are still getting in their cream cheese. We've been seeing cream cheese kind of go out the door lately again on store brands. $1.39 for this. Uh, they don't have any, but Philadelphia cream cheese uh, has been almost $3 for an 8-ounce brick of it. So way cheaper, and I can't tell the difference. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried Aldi cream cheese and which one you like better. I, I think they taste exactly the same. I always love Aldi because it makes it a little bit of a challenge for me. However, I will say that these pork and beans were 71 cents. Now they are 73 cents, so not much. Also, the chili mild beans were 71 cents. Now they are up to 72 cents. They try these, I don't know, like some people were saying that they get different contracts and they just add a penny. I mean, that's good. At least it ain't skyrocketing, I guess, but it's, it's always funny. Uh, 54 cents uh, now for most of your Happy Harvest vegetables, canned vegetables. They were 49 cents, but that's been a couple months ago. I'm glad they haven't gone up any further. Um, and they do have some other things. But yeah, I just wanted to point out some of the ones that got more expensive. The mushroom stems and pieces were 85 cents. They went up to 88 cents. Somebody said they couldn't find the tostadas, the corn tostadas. They actually have them here, $1.89. We've been seeing these go for as high as $3.99 in some stores, so much better price on those. Also, we've got a lot of good comments on some of the taco seasoning here. Somebody said the other day that they haven't been able to find it. Um, well, this is the taco shells, so yeah, I was going to say, it seemed pretty expensive. $0.38 cents for these. They do not have the taco shells in, the Casa Mamita taco shells, but they do have uh, some of the refried beans. I feel like some of this stuff is very comparable to a lot of other stores, especially like uh, some of the store brands. Like We also know that the canned vegetables, the Happy Harvest, is the same as the Great Value. Uh, those are $0.54 cents as well, uh, so... I don't know. Do got a lot of the beans in though. Some of the great northern beans somebody asked about. They got the black beans, pinto beans. I mean, these seem a little pricey compared. I don't know. Okay, so this is 32 ounces though. These are all 32 ounces. So yeah, that makes it a pretty decent deal, I guess. Most of the ones we see at Kroger that we check out are just a pound. So we got a comment about the Berman's whipped dressing mayonnaise. Um, we tried this. I thought it was really good. Uh, couldn't tell the difference between this or Miracle Whip. Actually, I thought this tasted way better. It's a little fluffier. I think this kind of tastes more like Kraft, uh, their mayo, than Miracle Whip. I'm not a big fan of Miracle Whip, but we always get a lot of comments on it. Uh, I remember a few months ago when we couldn't find Miracle Whip anywhere. But look at this. This is, what, 30, 30 ounces here? Yeah, 30 ounces for $4.48. That is just insane. I do always like how Aldi puts their products right next to uh, something that they compare it to, like this honey barbecue sauce here. I'm assuming tastes exactly like Sweet Baby Ray's. Now, I like Sweet Baby Ray's. $2.67, though. $0.79 cents on the Aldi savers for this barbecue sauce. Ooh. Ooh, they got the hickory and brown sugar, too. Hmm. I'll tell you what, they normally don't sell too much, but they do have a good amount of pickles in. We've seen some go up in price, like the Spears here. These were $1.45 uh, a couple trips ago, the Great Gherkins, $1.75 now. Uh, these were $0.95, cents. now they're $0.99, cents. so not too big of a price increase. But, you know, you start adding all this stuff up, it really does add up. Um, these are really good. I really like these, uh, and they're cheap. And I can't taste any difference between these and Vlasic or any other ones. So no baby formula here, which, you know, I have to check because we've been checking everywhere. Um, but they do have some good deals on, like, wipes and stuff. Three packs of wipes here for four. Or wait a minute. Okay. four nineteen here. They do have, like, this soy here next to I don't know if anybody can use these. They're out of these here. But they do have some of the snacky stuff. Some of these grain and groats. Hey, it's even got the Gerber baby on it. I don't know if that's Gerber. But, ah, uh, for that price. Oh, yeah, it is Gerber. Okay. But, you know... Yeah, they got some diapers. 
I don't know if this stuff is any cheaper, but at least they carry some of it. Noticed another price increase on the toilet paper that everybody seems to like here. It was $13.49, now $13.99. Keeps going up like every month. It's going up 50 cents to a dollar. The, the price they scratched out there was $14.49. That is not worth it. Uh, $13.99, in my opinion, is not worth it. Um, you get a ton more. I don't, you know, I don't know. I, I know Kroger's right now has been $13.49. That's what we've been comparing this to because it's the same size, same quality. And it just keeps going up, guys. It keeps going up in price. I remember just a few months ago, it was $10, dollars uh, $9.99. I did just notice that their chicken breast went up pretty significantly. This is still, I think it's still 12.5 ounces. Uh, I think so. Yep, 12.5 ounces. Um, 319. This was 249. 249 just a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, I don't know. It expires in 2025, so we got some years on that. Or best if used by date. Um, yeah, that's a significant price increase though. We've been seeing this stuff go up and up though. So it looks like they got the Simply Nature Organic Chicken Noodle Soup back in. People have been talking about this for a long time. We haven't had it in our store. It is $2.12, but you know what? I'm going to try this. We got so many good comments on it that I'm going to give it a shot. I'll let you know what I think about it. Somebody had also talked about the healthy, chunky soup of the Chicken Noodle Chef's Cupboard, $1.46. They haven't had these either. I've just been finding the regular, which I love. This chicken soup, uh, $1.46 a can for that. Somebody else had mentioned that, but I'm still going to try the Simply Nature brand. We got so many good comments on this a while back. I do have to hand it to Aldi. Somehow or another, they are able to keep their Friendly Farms milk down to $1.88 a gallon. I will say it's a weird price on eggs. $2.21. That is kind of weird. It's kind of hard for me to always go over the frozen items here at Aldi because there's always so little uh, they do have the breaded chicken breast fillets got some good comments on that $7.99 let's see those are back in they do have the Kirkwood chicken breast of the 48 ounces here $8.49 but as you can see here I mean they are pretty wiped out but they're consistently wiped out, so we're not really surprised here. A lot of this stuff, I just don't think they can get in right now. Hopefully they start getting it in here at some point. They do have some of their shrimp options here. They do always seem to have a lot of breakfast sandwich options here. But I gotta say, when you compare it to like Kroger's or something, I mean, I don't know, they may taste, maybe the taste, the quality is a little better, I really don't know, but for $3.79 for four sandwiches of a Aldi product just sounds a little high for me. They do have the breakfast bowls. Some of these, I don't know what this is. Oh, this shouldn't be here. This is for the breakfast on a stick. Um, but for these bowls here, $2.19, I guess I didn't do that. Believe it or not, this is pretty good as far as ice cream goes. For our Aldi, at least, usually they're pretty wiped out on this stuff. But uh, yeah, they've actually got some in. Good to see. Um, yeah, these some we got some comments on these. I haven't even seen any of the Belmont ice cream here in a long time. Usually when we do, there's just one or two. I don't. People might buy it up. I really don't know. But uh, yeah, good to see they got some. Okay, so I'm back from Aldi. Got the Simply Nature um, organic soup. Just heated it up. Let's give it a try. Let's see if I can get everything in one bite here. Looks like it's got celery, carrots, chicken, and noodles. That is good. Um, you know, I was a little worried about it because at first glance, I thought it didn't look right. Like, it, it looks a little darker than what normal chicken noodle soup looks like. Um, but I gotta say, it's got a great flavor. Everything tastes fresh. The, carrot, the carrots really stood out to me. They taste real fresh. The chicken tastes real fresh. Um, yeah, you guys were right. It's really good. But now we gotta do the ultimate test with our Ritz crackers. I'm just gonna put a few in there. I don't wanna, won't have the whole meal here with you guys, but I always try to add a little bit of Ritz crackers. And with all the Campbell's soup that I eat, as you guys know, um, I love Ritz crackers. I know I don't usually talk too much about the things that we buy at the store and stuff, but yes, Ritz crackers are a very guilty pleasure of mine. 
And that is probably why I sound so upset in the stores when I see them go up in price. By the way, they are back up to $3.59 at Kroger. <laughs> so we got the crackers in here. Sorry, it's really hot. Even better. And we are doing our live show tonight at 7.30 p.m. Make sure you tune in for that. We do them every Friday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a lot of fun. We just kind of hang out, reflect on everything that's gone on through the week, and just kind of sit around and chat. So one of the things that we've been talking about on the channel has been prices at Aldi that are getting up or even past some of the sales that we're seeing at the grocery stores like Kroger, Meyer, even Target, Walmart, a lot of different stores. And, you know, I've been hearing from you guys across the country that your Aldi's have been getting more expensive or right around what the prices are at most of your grocery stores. I hate seeing that. Every, every time I go to Aldi's now, we're seeing all kinds of price increases. We try to save where we can, you know, and, and I hope the videos are helping to help save you guys a little bit of money, save you some gas, and, um, you know, we, we do our best to try and get the deals and sales out to you guys as fast as we can so you don't waste your money. But guys, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.